you look at the last five or 10 years, we've seen the beginning of a paradigm shift in the way that electricity is sort of produced, transported and consumed. You know, the power systems of the past, you had these enormous centralized, you know, huge concrete cooling tower type coal and gas fired power stations. These are increasingly becoming things of the past. The big change with renewable energy is much more volatile than any other energy you can consume. Yeah. So you need to do uh, better planning. You need to create storages where you can consume the energy when it's available, sunny, windy days, to have energy when there is no sun or no wind. We have a very long history in power generation, so we understand this all from generating the power to using the power. So basically from the power plant to the plug at home. We have products which support that process. Manufacturers of wind turbines use into their products, which convert the power which is generated, for example, from rotating energy into grid energy. This means energy in the grid which can be used by a consumer. Increasingly we see things like uh, the battery energy storage systems becoming a key part of the energy mix. Also digital technologies, right? Because if you've got all these decentralized energy resources that again are weather dependent, then being able to, to for example, predict the weather and know when you're going to be able to generate more energy and also being able to dispatch that energy and align it to the loads that are coming online is increasingly becoming important for, for power generators, but also power consumers. The beauty of renewables is that they're renewable, right? They're carbon zero. And so if we really want to push towards a lower carbon future, then that part of the energy mix is super critical.